<laughs> hey, what's up guys? This is Daniel Bruce with Bruce Works. I'm really excited because for the last five years, I've really just been focused on short form video content. But now, I've been hearing it so much, you, you need to make long form YouTube videos, long form YouTube videos. So now, once a week, we're gonna be trying to do at least one long form YouTube video. So that'll be coming out this Sunday, will be our first one, and then every Sunday after that, we'll be putting out another one. I'm really excited for this, you guys stay tuned. Thank you. So what we're working on here is a recycled skateboard bean-shaped coffee table. This is a really cool design that I came up with a while back. Um, and this is the newest iteration of it, and I'm proud to say it's going to be a collaboration with Huckberry. Um, so, in this video, we're primarily going to be doing a glue up for one of these, and I'll kind of talk you guys through how I do it, and what steps I take to ensure the best possible product, and then hopefully we'll show you a finished product. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at. So what you're seeing right now is the, prep, the prepped area for the glue up process. And what you're seeing here is a table core, you're seeing veneers made from skateboards, a pin nailer, glue, and a straight edge. So the very first step on this particular table is to form a straight line that the veneer pattern is gonna follow. So that's what this edge is serving to function as. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these veneers and lay them down in a tile pattern and then move this way and then we'll unclamp, remove the straight edge and then go that way and then we'll flush trim this whole edge and then we'll have something that we can add a border to. So let's get to it. So as you can see here, we've gotten the bean table glued up and then fast forward and it'll look like this. So this is what the top is gonna look like. And the steps that you're not seeing here are we, we use a router and we trim everything out to where you get the exact shape. Then we add an edge banding and then we flatten and fill all the voids with epoxy. And then we sand up to 320, which is where this one is currently. And this one today, we're about to put the legs on. So we're gonna let this one cure and glue up and then we'll move to the next step uh, on another day. So now we're at a really exciting place, which is attaching the legs to the tabletop. 
And the way that I do it is I make my legs like this, where there's uh, a base on each one, and then I use threaded inserts, and then I use bolts to secure them with the threaded inserts. So what we're gonna do now, um, this is where the art comes in, where we actually have to strategically place the legs to make sure that the angle maximizes the strength of the table so it doesn't tip over. Strong. Gotta sit on it. Um, typically there's like multiple things happening in the shop because normally me and Leo are here pretty much every day and then a lot of days now too Dustin's here so at any given point there's like multiple things happening in the shop I'm doing something Leo's doing something Dustin's doing something and it's kind of funny because like we'll just be like in our own little world doing our thing and I might like tell them to do something or, or they might have a question or we might like put our heads together to get through through like you know a challenge that we, we get to but a lot of times it's just like three people in their own little world just working. <laughs> so it's it's kinda of fun. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, for the last like five years I've primarily been focused on short form video content. Um, but I'm really excited now we're going to start doing long form. So every Sunday, once a week, right now, every Sunday, we're going to be putting out a long form YouTube video. So you guys stay tuned. This is Daniel Bruce with Bruce Works, and I'm really excited.